All right, how's it going, Neil? So Unify has come out with a new product, and it is something I've been really waiting on. It is the Flex Mini 2.5 gig. It is a $50, 2.5 gigabit, five port switch that can be either PoE powered or USB-C powered. And I have been waiting on this for a really long time because 2.5 gigabit is finally here. COVID really disrupted the entire supply chain of it, and so it took a little bit longer than we thought. But finally, you can get reasonably priced 2.5 gigabit switches that are the exact same form factor as the one gig stuff. And this is a great version of that. Unify sent this over to me for free, and I am an affiliate, but it is not sponsored by them or anything like that. And this thing is, I think, something I'm going to be recommending quite often. I love the Flex Minis as is, the one gigabit predecessor to this thing. So I'm really excited to have this because honestly, they're just so versatile. I love being able to deploy switches like this, especially the ones that are tiny, PoE powered. For, for offices where there's a added port on later on, so somebody goes, oh hey, I now have to have a couple more workstations than I originally thought at this location. And it's so easy to be able to get one of these, especially if they have the PoE switch. And now we have the 2.5 gigabit version. So that's got two great pieces to it. One, even if the clients are one gigabit, they can have a shared 2.5 gigabit uplink to the parent switch, which is really useful if it's actually used pretty busily. And so you make sure that your neighbors aren't really affecting you too much. Or more and more motherboards and stuff are having built in 2.5 gigabit. So I think it's just gonna be a really useful thing. So this is it right here. This is not like an unboxing or anything, but in the box we get the device as well as a tiny USB power supply. I'm actually planning on using this at my house because I've got a perfect place for this where I'm finally running cables at, at our house. We did everything in the office, but we moved recently. And so it's gonna be really nice having this because I've got a place where I would like to have a Wi-Fi access point, but I don't wanna run a ton of cables. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a single cable down there and then use the PoE to power that. And then use a PoE injector to power the Wi-Fi access point. And then what I'm gonna do is continue that onto my office. So I actually already know where this thing's gonna be going. But if you've ever used the Flex Mini, it is basically the exact same piece. Just now the USB power supply is on the front rather than on the back as I believe it was back in the day. But really small, really light form factor, no fan or anything like that. And so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna plug it in my network and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and adopt it right there and it is gonna go ahead and adopt. So I really love 2.5 gigabit. If you've watched this channel a lot, you know I'm a huge fan of it just because as you can tell, it is way smaller, way lighter, way cheaper. The actual power supplies required for them, everything is so much smaller because 2.5 and 5 gig, the standards are far more power efficient than that for 10 gig. 10 gig is actually significantly older than 2.5 and 5 gig, the actual standards themselves. And because 10 gig was so power hungry, that's why those standards were written previously. That's because 10 gig just takes so much power to be able to run over the 320 some feet that 10 gigabit RJ45 is rated for. And I can go on and on about how much of a pain 10 gig can be to work with because of that. Whereas with 2.5 gigabit, your adapters are tiny, really lightweight, really useful, and it also gets you about 320 megabytes per second when working on a NAS. And for the most part, that is fast enough to do 4K video editing even with ProRes multicam and a whole bunch of other things. So 2.5 gigabit really has that very nice sweet spot in my opinion, not to mention the fact that it can be run over existing cables. So 2.5 gigabit can be run over Cat5e for the full length. And so it just makes it really easy to use and really easy to recommend. And I'm looking forward to more and more devices just having built in 2.5 gigabit adapters. And so this is a great place to start with that. And I think for just an extra $20 more from the base flex that is $30, I think it's probably worthwhile upgrade for the majority of people because even if you don't have it today, 
you may in the future. And it's just nice having that 2.5 gig upgrade really easy. And so just like that, it has adopted on in and we can go ahead and check it on out. So much like the Flex Mini, it's predecessor and I guess companion, I don't think they're getting rid of the Flex Mini, could be wrong, but it does not have all of the features of the bigger Unify switches. I will say it has all of them that you actually use. And I think it actually has a little bit more because of the ability to actually have tagged VLANs. But if we look right here, we do have restricted grayed out and a few other things. That's because it does not offer the full blown MAC address filtering and things like that, that the larger layer two switches do. And it does not have any layer three switching. But if we look through the companions, and so what I've done here is I went to Unify site and I took a screenshot of the large enterprise switches and I took a screenshot of this guy's capabilities when it comes to layer two features. And these are the differences. So primarily you're losing out on link aggregation, five port switch, not really seeing that as being too important, but maybe for some people, Mac address filtering, very rarely ever use that as well as some other really kind of more advanced stuff. The only thing on here I could kind of see people needing is the uh, the voice VLAN, maybe. It's not PoE powered. What a voice VLAN is, is when you've got basically a big old PoE switch. And what you'll do is you'll have your phones all hooked up and the phones then pass through the computer. So you'll have basically a computer and a phone on the exact same switch then what you do is you have a VLAN for the phones and a VLAN for the actual computers, and that's called voice VLAN. I don't see people doing that with this switch, but overall, we're really not missing much of anything that you would actually use on a switch like this. It's really kind of those much more advanced layer two features, at least from what I'm seeing here. I don't think you're going to miss out on much, and you definitely do have more capability than you did with the other one. But overall, honestly, you're getting pretty much everything you expect out of a layer two switch with additional capabilities, including VLANs, which is really what I think most people would use this for. And actually what I used back in the day to actually transmit internet through my switches from one room to another so I could have my rack upstairs and not have to have my actual router downstairs, which I'll leave a link down in the description below to that video. But I actually did that on a Flex Mini, which had even less features. So honestly, it's got pretty much all the features you're going to expect. And the vast majority of people are just going to use this as a switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug it into my computer with my little 2.5 gigabit dongle. And we're just going to hook up. I really enjoy that these little switches are PoE powered, especially something like this. It just makes it really easy for them to deploy. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do a really quick, simple iPerf test just to make sure we can get our throughput through there, just going to my NAS. Perfect. As we can see, we are getting that full 2.5 gigabit speeds as I would expect. You never see the full 2.5 gigabit on iPerf, but we are within what, 0.15 roughly. So it is absolutely, I'd say the full speeds there. And we're getting that for a really small, easy use package. So that's pretty much going to be it for this. Honestly, if you're asking if it's a buy, if you're looking for a 2.5 gigabit switch and you've already got Unify devices and you need something in this form factor, it's a no brainer. It's just a really nice, easy kind of form factor, lightweight, cheap, PoE powered. The missing features that you would get with a much more enterprise layer two switch that Unify offers. I don't think that most people are going to notice or care. I certainly am not going to. But if you need those, you will have to go to a larger switch. But for everybody else, I'm really excited to see that 2.5 gigabit is finally here and is finally effective. Go and leave any other questions you got for me down in the comments below and have a good one. Bye.